Hey, this is Dave, and today we're going to be looking at the NewTek TC1. That is the new TriCaster from NewTek. It is dubbed as the planet's most complete multi camera production system. So let's dive right in. We've got a TC1 here uh, booted up. Uh, we've got a couple cameras in here. Let's just start with the, uh, the interface. It should be familiar to you. It's uh, the uh, Advanced Edition interface. Um, but I want to just first start with the, uh, the inputs. So the inputs um, that you have available are anything local to you. Uh, it has four SDI inputs as well as four SDI outputs, which we'll get to later. And then you can um, bring in NDI sources as well. And now let me, let me just break out to this uh, all here. You can have up to, as you can see here, 16 inputs using the power of NDI. Okay, so with respect to our DDRs, just like any other TriCaster, we have a DDR1 here. We have this uh, London bus footage here, which is a part of the default uh, that is in the, the, uh, comes with all the TriCasters. So there's your first DDR. And then on this side, we have your DDR2. Nothing's changed there. Also, you have your uh, graphics buses, graphics one and graphics two, where you can uh, drop things in. Uh, right now, let's see, let's take a look at key two. We have one of the presets from NewTek. All the standard stuff that you've come to expect from the TriCasters. The buffers are there. Uh, as you can see, I've got a couple of live uh, things loaded in here, as well as this basketball uh, looping buffer, animation buffer. Very, very useful so that you don't have to tie up your media players. You can send things to these animation buffers and then have them available um, in those locations and free. that definitely would free up your uh, media players. So on your MEs, you have four MEs and you also have previs. And previs is a very uh, interesting uh, situation because you, you can um, send things to uh, any one of your MEs. So you can set something up in previs, previs, copy it over, and then paste it over to another one of your MEs. So that's a really nice uh, feature to have that. Uh, just kind of like a fifth ME, but a, a place to kind of build stuff and then send it to the MEs if you're in the middle of production. So um, you also have, uh, with the TC1, you have two extra um, key, downstream keys. So you have up to four that you can assign. This is one, two, three, four here. Um, and you can see that right now we've got a buffer assigned to one of ours and a uh, preset uh, uh, in uh, the key two at the moment. We're working with the smaller control surface right now. It has all of the essential uh, functions that you would need, but the larger con uh, control surface would actually map almost every button from the interface of the TC1 down to uh, the control surface if that's something that you prefer. Um, so talking about the TC1, what's, what's different? Um, well, it will go up to 4K60. In this situation, we're in a standard uh, 1080i60 project. Uh, we're ha we have three SDI cameras uh, set up. Let's take a look at the streaming, because the streaming now has two different encoders. So you can actually, uh, this is a big improvement. So it, it, let's say if I want to send something to Facebook Live at the same time I want to send it to my streaming platform, then I can do that, because now this is natively has uh, two encoders built right into it. On my recording, a huge improvement with the TC1 is the ISO recording. As we can see here, we have the option of recording all four mixes. Now, mix now as well, on the TC1, you have four outputs that are SDI as well as the NDI uh, capability. Um, just like any other TriCaster, the TC1 is always outputting all of its sources and all of its mixes over NDI on your local network, and that's made available to any studio monitor computer or any other TriCaster that may be on your local network. Well, let's go to the audio mixer. Um, so we have uh, you know, pretty much what you're used to, but one really cool thing that you have with the TC1 is that built-in Skype TX. So you've got a mix minus right here, as you can see. This is the talkback for for the Skype TX built right in to that audio mixer. So it's a very, very, very handy uh, feature to be able to have there. Let's go back up to the inputs as well. Um, so something else in the inputs, you can go to your Skype TX Caller 1 and Skype TX Caller 2 as a local input. So this is native support for Skype TX. You don't have to have the talk show. So this is a, a huge improvement as well. New Tech dubs this one as the one we've been waiting for. I would agree. So something else that is pretty cool with the TC1 is you can enable support in the audio mixer for Dante. Uh, it would show up once you do that with a virtual sound card uh, purchase that will show up as a source uh, so that you can have Dante channels coming in as well as Dante channels coming out. So that's a, that's a nice improvement. There's a lot of improved performance with the TC1. Things just move quickly. 
So we've got the ability to go 4K 60p with the switcher, which is huge. We got two encoders, which is also huge. More channels of keying, up to 16 inputs if you leverage the power of NDI. The TC1 is really something you want to check out.